Welcome back to Fox to see everyone. If you're considering whether the iPad is a good choice for editing videos, you're in the right place. I've been editing videos for years, so I have a lot of experience in this field. Today, I'm going to help you decide if an iPad is the right tool for your video editing needs. First off, there are two main questions you need to ask yourself. The first is whether an iPad, as a product category, is suitable for video editing. The second is which specific iPad model you should choose if you decide to go down that route. Let's start with the first question. iPad OS, which is the operating system that runs on iPads, is quite different from Mac OS, which you'd find on a MacBook. Yes, there are plenty of video editing apps available on the iPad that you can download, but it's still not quite the same as working on a Mac. Personally, I prefer the precision of using a cursor on a Mac, which for me makes the editing process smoother and more accurate. But that doesn't necessarily mean the iPad isn't a good option. It just depends on what you prioritize. The iPad does offer several advantages over a MacBook when it comes to video editing. For one, the versatility of using your finger, the Apple Pencil, and the touchscreen is a big plus. It can make certain editing tasks feel more intuitive and hands-on. Plus, the iPad is a thin and portable device, which is great if you're editing on the go or don't want to carry around a heavier laptop. When it comes to software, there are many great apps available for video editing on the iPad. Apps like CapCut and LumaFusion are excellent choices. LumaFusion, for example, costs about $30, but it's still quite affordable for what it offers. iMovie is built in and free, although it's a bit basic compared to the others. You can absolutely perform some great edits on the iPad. So it really comes down to the type of projects you plan to work on and your personal preference. Now let's talk about the second question, choosing the right iPad model. There's a significant difference in performance across you know, the various um, iPad models, especially when it comes to tasks like exporting videos and scrubbing through the timeline. My general rule of thumb is to go for at least an iPad with the M1 chip if you're serious about video editing. The older models with less powerful chips might work fine for basic usage, but they're likely to struggle with more demanding video editing tasks. So here's my bottom line. If you already like using the iPad for other things like watching content, browsing, or drawing, it makes sense to bundle everything together and use the iPad for video editing as well. It's a versatile device that can handle a lot of different tasks, and it's definitely capable of delivering solid video edits. However, if you're looking for a device specifically dedicated to video editing, especially for more advanced projects, I'd recommend going with a Mac. Something like the MacBook Air with the M1 chip is pretty affordable and offers a great balance of power and portability. And of course, the newer MacBook Pros with the M3 chip and beyond will be even better for video editing if you want to go all out. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you decide whether an iPad is the right choice for your video editing needs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tips and tech advice. See you guys later.